All right, everybody. So you've heard of all season tires, right? Well, have you heard about the new all weather tires? All weather tires are the new and improved all season tires. But first, let's quickly recap tire performance. So summer tires are designed for grippy performance during the hot summer months. They work best in warmer climates and they can handle rain as well, but they won't function well if you're running them in colder climates in the wintery months. Now, the opposite of those are winter tires. So winter tires are awesome in the snow and ice, and they're essential if you live in areas that get lots of snow and slush. But of course, being the opposite of summer tires, they won't function well once the temperature starts rising because winter rubber compounds are optimized for winter temperatures. If you're running winter tires in summer months, you'll lose performance and shorten the life of your winter tires quite a bit. So you don't want to do that. So that's where originally the all season tires kind of came in. They filled the gaps between a summer and winter tire. They were originally designed to function across multiple seasons, not as grippy as true summer tires, but you can also run them a bit during the summer months with mild winter conditions. Uh, now, the winter all season tires are generally only designed, like I said, for mild winters of snow and ice, just not too much not snow, not too much ice. They're a good compromise, but you know, technology has moved on. And so that's where the new all weather tires improve on pretty much everything the older all season tires did. All weather tires are designed to handle more wintry conditions than all season tires to the point where the all weather tires can now even perform winter tires developed 10 years ago. You can even see that the new all weather tires have this three peak mountain snowflake icon there and that means that they've met some additional standards for winter weather usability that all season tires have not. All weather tires also use the latest rubber compound technologies, so unlike winter tires, they retain good performance and good tire life even in the hot summer months. Now this particular one from Pirelli, uh, you can see this is Pirelli, and this is their all, uh, I'm sorry, their weather active uh, series of tires. Now these ones have a tread life of 700 uh, tread wear rating, which is really, really good. Uh, you can kind of see that over here. Uh, right up over here where you'll see uh, temperature 700, traction A, temperature A. So, you know, again, these are designed for, uh, for much better all-around performance than the older all-season tires are. Uh, so, you know, that's the thing, right? Uh, everything is a compromise. And, you know, what's the downside? Uh, well, uh, here's my Tesla Model X Plaid. Uh, this Tesla Model X Plaid originally came from the factory with all season tires made by Continental and those tires were optimized for EV range as well. Now I've got 32,000 miles out of those original Continental all seasons that came with the car and I replaced them with these Pirelli weather active uh, all weather tires. Now these new Pirelli weather actives do everything better than the Continentals that came with the original uh, from the factory, the OEM tires. Now, uh, with the Pirelli Weather Active tires, this car is now much more responsive to inputs. It's more agile, and it definitely makes the car a lot more fun to drive. Now, plus, another bonus is that these new all-weather tires uh, are more comfortable. Uh, they soak up bumps, potholes, and grooves, and the ride just feels more composed and more luxurious than the uh, OEM Continental All Seasons that came with this car. They didn't also add any additional noise over the factory Continental tires, even though those factory Continental tires were treated specifically to reduce noise, where they had this foam lining on the inside of that tire for noise reduction. Now, these Pirelli weather actives are just as quiet, and they don't even need the foam. But check this out. I want to show you something. Uh, the first 32,000 miles of driving in, uh, in this car. Uh, you got to take a look at this. So we'll come in here. We'll take a look here and uh, check it out. So we'll look at our efficiency rating and I don't know if you can see this, but this uh, is the lifetime uh, stats. And, uh, and now I put about 32,000 miles uh, originally on uh, the OEM Continentals. And look at my uh, average energy use over that period of time. Well, a little bit more, right? So, uh, so it was 323. Uh, watt hours per uh, per mile. Uh, that was my efficiency over uh, over the life of uh, 32,000 miles for the original tires. And you can see the new Pirelli uh, Weather Active tires. I've put 1,400 miles on these, and my average energy use is a little bit higher, uh, even though I'm doing something very similar. 
so there you have it. Uh, these new uh, Pirelli Weather Active all weather tires are much more, uh, much more uh, comfortable. They are just better riding. Uh, they're no more noisy than the OEM Continentals. Uh, and they just perform better. The handling is so much better, I can't even begin to tell you. Uh, but it's not quite as efficient. So if you're all out uh, efficiency, you're going for all out efficiency, uh, these probably aren't the tires for you. But that said, I mean, you know, if you look at this 340 uh, watt hours per mile versus 324 watt hours per mile, uh, in the real world for me, that's not quite noticeable. I've had this car for a year. Uh, and I've driven 33,000 miles out of this car in a year, so I definitely drive a lot. And uh, and the difference in uh, you know aside from seeing it here, uh, 324 versus 340 in the real world, it doesn't mean much to me. You know I have to charge this car every day because I drive so far. Uh, you know I use about 80% of the battery usage every day. Uh, but you can see, you know, uh, it doesn't really impact that much. I'd much rather have these new Pirelli Weather Active tires for this thing. I'm glad I found it. Uh, sharing this with the rest of you guys. Uh, so there you have it.